We're just going live. Kalima will disclaimer the kaitan now. Okay, okay. Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining Cybersecurity Career Talks. I have with me today Nehal Mehta and Dhawal Shah. They are the innovators, the builders, and uh, the co-founders of Rainbow Secure, which is a security platform for managing uh, passwords as well as um, your logins, uh, so passwordless logins, etc. They are going to talk about uh, what Rainbow Secure does is, but more importantly, if you have an idea or if you are have a side project with you, how do you develop it? How do you get funding? What about how about getting a partner for your uh, uh, startup? And they've been through this journey and they are really gracious enough to come here and pay it forward and share it with our audience today. Um, but before we start, there is a disclaimer. So I'll just read it out. Uh, the views expressed in this, uh, this presentation and during the session are the personal opinions of the participants and do not reflect the official policy or position of their respective employers. The discussion is a volunteer-led effort to contribute to the profession and pay forward the many kindnesses and instances of support that they have received during the course of their careers. Thank you so much, and let's get started. Uh, hi, hi, Nehal, and hi, Dhawal. Can you introduce uh, uh, your uh, Rainbow pa Secure platform and tell us what it does first? Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, good morning, everybody who is watching this uh, presentation and talk so. So myself, Dhawal Sa. And here's my co-founder. Hi, good morning. I'm Aniha. And I'm co-founder in Rainbow Secure. So, uh, can we? Together, yeah. Together, we actually started this journey of the entrepreneurial journey. It was not uh, earlier we thought about like uh, starting a company of our own. We just had this idea. We just had uh, this intuition that we've been in a technology field should do something on this challenging problems we are facing day to day life. Nail can add more so, to that. So uh, basically, idea come up with, uh, but I am struggling with always remembering uh, my password, and <laughs> always I am going to reset it again and again. So one day my son is just writing his name with a different color and some uh, different font. So I thought, why should uh, our password is not like that, why we just have a plain, simple password. On based of that idea, I just started research, like how I can make my password is colorful and as, as uh, just we go on research, I just come to know like if we added some color and style to password, how much strong the value it brings. So on the basis of that idea, we just started to research and then we pattern on our uh, idea and we just started. So idea can come from anywhere, right? It can be your need or it just that you thought of something and you want to solve some problem for everybody, which is not only facing you, but whole world. So you will also be having some ideas of your own. Don't neglect it. Just give it a thought. You may have a hundred different ideas, but there would be some idea which would bubble up into a finished product and you may be also owning your own company. So you get a you know great, this one thing that you got some idea, but you should not just sit on it, just perceive, perceive, perceive. And I know that everybody would have a work, they have full-time jobs, but what you do, you should start as a side project devote some time dedicately, if not daily, at least X hours a week, so that you keep your momentum going. And that's what we did. Um, myself, um, I had a uh, full-time, uh, I'm a senior technical lead and senior SQL DBA working in the healthcare field and previously have worked in, across so many domains. Nihal is also a well-experienced uh, technology uh, developer and uh, SQL expert. So 
we both had been going through some challenges we would be reading so much in the news this company got hacked that got hacked and every time it comes up to some or other uh, problem then you know now she had this idea so we connected the dots so, hey this is what actually something um, very powerful we have on our own hands then when she did research so sometimes when you have idea but when you apply more thoughts to it when you have to more research then it may bubble up into something maybe even better thank you so much and uh, i think you were going to share some 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 uh, diagram right like how to start yeah, yeah. so if yes. you can yeah. do that yeah definitely let us share a screen so uh, can you yeah. sorry able to see your screen no not yet not yet um i don't know what happened. yes 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 you can see it oh. no you, you, you were able to see it okay yeah. yeah so it takes some time yeah, to so there is a question about what okay. this uh, uh, rainbow secure does and probably after this if you can you know talk a little bit uh, about that it will be helpful now? no we could see it previously but not now okay let, let's give it few seconds maybe it's still loading so it's basically idea is called value propositions like uh, suppose you have idea you can search so many templates online it's like free templates so when you have some idea start to think like what uh, what uh, value my idea is bring after that you can think about like uh, what's the key activity i am doing what's the resource i need what kind of partners i need i need a technical partner i need a financial partner i need infrastructure what resource i need that i have to think after that if i just started this idea who will be the beneficiary like uh, who get the benefit what the pain point it solve and what's the customer relationship with my customer and how i can sell this product once it's just a, you just have a idea after that you think about i can i sell this product do i have do i have to some distribution i set up some distribution channel or i just license something some software or some place so think about that and what's the revenue streaming what's the cost structures so all this point before investment you can think you can figure out after that if you go and uh, show someone like uh, okay i need a partner on this area then you, this will be easier for you to get partner and get guidance to basically sure. about to brainstorming brainstorming among uh, you know your uh, close friends or you know brainstorm uh, among your prospective partners you can go to a different meetup events and you can find like minded people who got the idea or who are just starting the journey of being an entrepreneur so before comes the all formal legal setup of a company and llc it comes the brainstorming it comes the thinking of uh, what uh, i am going to do whether this is just going to be a ad hoc uh, solution some service which is going to be i'm be doing on my own or i will be able to scale it i will be able to commercialize it productize it and you know sell it to someone so it's one thing to have sometimes a working solution another thing is that you've been able to deliver that to a corporate who has got certain standards to follow is uh, and then they have you have to have consideration of deployment cloud based deployment on premise deployment several aspects come into picture and based on what you will be needing uh, have to deploy a product and everything to develop sometimes some skills you may not have readily available skills so you may have to partner with someone you may have to hire someone so you have to do pros and cons of getting a partner versus getting investment money and then we have to go to the path down the path great this is this is super i i think i saw something like this uh, as part of uh, my mba class on lean mm -hmm. startup mm -hmm. right this looks similar to that yes. uh, lean startup um, probably like canvas or something yes yes uh, okay so like can you can you describe your journey like 
from say thinking like you conceptualize this idea and then uh, what kind of market validation did you do did you like uh, go in and uh, do any kind of uh, validate your idea in the market yes. or how did you do that yes so we'll tell you there are a couple of ways to do it uh, in some of uh, the cases uh, people may do what they call a market survey and in other cases what we did we did a more uh, personalized approach what we did was that we participated in a uh, trade events like a tag day new york where you get to meet uh, people from different industry domains they come to your booth and you present uh, so, your solution and you try to invite like minded partners and customers who can deploy your solution on the other hand you will also find people which are not from the technology field from some other field and they may also look at your idea they may also try it so you instantly get feedback feedback from hundreds of people over the day of the event so we did some kind of raffle in the tech day event so and the raffle winners said, yeah. okay you just make your password colorful and come back after some times and let's see how you remember and how do you like it so that's uh, that way we can validate and get the review of the customer okay perfect um, so, so you did this at an early stage, right? To just yes. see like yes. how the market, yes. because and that I think is yeah. extremely important to you know yeah. validate your idea in the market to see if it if it yeah. resonates. Because with. after that, I come to know like some people are facing challenges uh, to recognize a color. So I just break down that dependency. I am using the totally number based like RGB number or maybe hexa number. So mm -hmm. that problem I just overcome after that trade event. So that um, people can either choose a color, uh, you know, immediately when they try to uh, log in or do a multi-factor. But if uh, you have challenge with color, you also get an option to choose a custom color and then where you can put in hexa or RGB value of a color. So and even though- we added some style like a bold, italic, underline, so there are so many ways of improving so, the appearance and style of the person. After that event, we come to know we have to use, add this up and we improve that. So you get improvement, right? You get validation, you can, you can get thoughts. And so there were so many things to get out of the trade event that, you know, you got personal touch. You, when you meet thousand plus people, you personally even feel satisfied that, yeah, this is not something a random survey somebody filled out on the internet. I met thousand people and we know that, uh, you know, these people want this product. These people are looking forward to this into their bank accounts, into their communication, or into the business apps they are using today, into their windows. So, so my suggestion is like, whatever domain you are thinking, just uh, go there and uh, yeah. meet people and ask the review how they are thinking about if I have yeah. this kind of idea, what they're thinking. Like, don't say totally what's your... Um, uh, yeah, then, so, uh, people don't need to know to the implementation details. They at least just need to convey your solution at the higher level that, you know, this discuss is... Discuss the pain point about it. And what you can, what you will do to make it better. So... You can also sometimes go to some meetup groups and see if you can identify a potential partner. Sure. Uh, can you, do you want to share this or can you stop sharing it because then we can yeah. see you. Yes, yeah, sure. we can stop sharing it. Okay, perfect. So you brought up an extremely good point that when you are trying to validate your idea or validate, right, uh, highlight the pain point. And, and mm -hmm. you created this whole uh, concept of this Rainbow, Rainbow Secure platform yes. based off your experience, your pain point, your friction that you had with um, passwords and how like your son created something unique. That is excellent. Can you talk a little bit about uh, Rainbow Secure and what it does? Because there's a lot of curiosity uh, in the on YouTube um, Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, Rainbow Secure is basically the technology that have uh, uh, that allows you to add a 70 million color as a part of your password. 70 million color and 100 of style you can include in password. So, right now you are using only just plain black and white color. Instead of that, we added this color and style. So if your password is just like hello and all O become underlined, 
does give you a unique strength of 60 to 70 character password strain. So it's easy for you and it's harder for hacker because now hacker has to go through 63 quadrillion possible combination to guess a one character of password. And even the, when we make a hash, like we are not burdening a user to make so much, uh, like in password process, always burden on user. Like, okay, you have to make 10 character password, 14 character password, 15 character. Now it's making more bigger and bigger. So we just break down that to adding more uh, attributes to in and make simpler password, just a four to five character. And on backside, it's look like a 30 to 70 character password. And right now we are also offering this rainbow password, passwordless login, multi-factor, MFA. And also for retail user, we have some password vault in that you can store your uh, credentials and your important notes. And also we are offering some data vault in that you can scan your documents and uh, your secrets. So we started with a journey of uh, being an idea to the finished product. We went to the patent process. And when we, through this journey, we came to know that, okay, it's one thing to have a uh, solution that you, is working on your laptop, but you have to take it to the next level. How you will deliver this solution to the enterprise? So for that, we came up with this, we call the Rainbow Secure API. So any developer uh, watching over so they can ask to get uh, API for the project or app they are working. They have to just plug in our API into their solution. So they don't have to worry about any login process. They don't have to worry about maintaining the users, the repository or anything. Our plugin and our authentication server will do the trick. They just plug and play, just, you know, use the dot login and that's it. And you will be able to give a nice rainbow authentication mechanism, whether it's a passwordless login or rainbow password, your users will see that. It will be dual handshake, industry standard encryption, and a lot more proprietary technologies that goes behind it. So it will give them a balanced friction security. You can add and remove, you can configure the user challenges, the colors and styles based on what level of uh, user uh, and what level of security you want. If there's only a read-only user, this X amount of security you can expect. If there is a privileged C-suite user or a super admin of the application, then there will be a different level of uh, friction you'll be having. So it's all configurable model we have. And uh, we also offer the hosting on within the enterprise firewall that's called on-premise uh, we offer, as well as we offer on the cloud. In the cloud, there are two options. We can offer, we can, you know, help you buy, procure, set up the cloud for you and deploy the Rainbow Secure Platform over there, including we can help you migrate your existing applications over there. And on the other side, you can also take our services from our enterprise SaaS platform and you can and be a goal in. And, you know, when you are new start, right? We have to go in, so we will give you a SaaS based enterprise security. So whatever application you develop, adding this rainbow that's give your application so much value because you take care of the cyber attacks and uh, yeah. cyber threats so that's increase your application value so when you say that you are defeating 10 plus type of cyber attacks and data based scenarios instantly your application gets recognition and value whatever you are doing today you should focus on your business side of the application and not get bothered with the security side of the application security experts, uh, security plugins like ours uh, will help app developers, whether you are working for a big organization or you have your own startup. So this kind of uh, plugins will help you uh, jumpstart, take your application forward. Wow, that is that is really valuable um, because now you, you do not want to be like responsible for any kind of breach of uh, customer passwords, et cetera. And then you can rest assured as a developer that you already have something which is like much better than like what is currently available in the market. So, so this is, this is great. Thanks for opening up your API uh, for anybody who's trying to de develop their application. So that takes one part, uh, takes care of one part of uh, securing uh, their, their mobile app or any kind of uh, app development that they are uh, doing. Um, 
so a uh, question is like uh, suppose yes this is a startup you you are like developing you brought it you've like now brainstormed your idea you've come to a point uh how do you get your first customer and before you get your first customer should you join a secure like an accelerator or uh, is there value in that so it's like a tricky question <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just like um see accelerator there is so many different kind of accelerator right now in a market so personally i don't prefer who is uh, asking early stage uh sharing like a partnership in my idea or in my company so i suggest don't go for that once you have a idea there is some acceleration like i just suggest co founder lab is the platform where you can find some um, similar kind of your founders who is looking for some kind of technical uh, partnership some investment partnership some kind of marketing partnership so where you can find your partner also they run some acceleration online so you just get idea and it's not so much costly is affordable like uh, instead of giving a part of your business you can afford like a 900 or 1000 dollar they are charging for that and uh, they guide you how your final product will look like what's your pain point if you have like a pain point in a, having a technical partnership so they can guide you okay you can go there these are the technical partner in our network you can find them and you can work with them if they are interested so that kind of uh, um like guidance they are giving so before taking any kind of investment or anything just go for that kind of guideline guideline first and then see how it your product because i know uh before acceleration what's my product and right now so it's definitely after acceleration your product looks more shinier and more beautiful so you should join somebody who is like a community based or who is like a corporate based aligned acceleration rather than the acceleration in the market there are some acceleration they will say that we will uh, get you x amount of investment if you come to us but what they do actually is that they say that no matter what your idea your value is they want 5 to 6% of equity from your company you know right and away not so, only that they take control of your uh, like some decisions, decisions. So that you can so you will lose some of the freedom when you operate uh, with uh, you know somebody who is uh, you are at early stage you have more freedom to operate but you have to see the terms and conditions before joining somebody sure thanks so much this is this is really valuable because what you're saying is that you might as well pay somebody instead yes. of providing them a part of your equity yes uh, and then you do not lose that control that you want over your uh, the direction of your business um, yeah. we are getting a lot of questions and there is a lot of uh, interest in rainbow secure so i'm just going through the questions that are asked And, sure. uh, they can even also shoot us a question at hello at rainbowsecure dot com if they have any technological queries, if they want to, you know, get on board on the API platform or the password vault, data vault, any kind of queries, you can also email after this. Sure, sure. Thank you so much for helping out. So the question is, who are your customers currently? So the customers that currently are there, they are the startups like us who are building a nice uh, fintech products. and on the other hand we are also integrating continuously with microsoft technology platform so very soon we will be also be integrating with microsoft azure both as a b2b and a b2c so instantly we will have a hundreds of applications out there that will be our uh, their customers will be our customers and, and, and currently right now we have some b2c pro, uh, customer with us so they are using our data vault as their for their so, uh suppose you have this great product with you your your building right so you can hook up our api for better security but also you can hook up to our data vault platform you can offer your customer instantly extra feature extra module where they can have great data repository so other like minded startups they are our current customers okay so all of us 
I mean, not all, but like a, a lot of us use uh, a password manager um, and does Rainbow Secure like for, for a B2C point of view. For retail customers, do you offer a um, Password, yes, vault. Yes, password yes, manager. Yes, called, uh, so password vault and we Rainbow are Secure not. Uh, yeah. See, password managers. Some people are doing like take control of your application. They um, copy paste your password in their applications. But we suggest user just come this platform, use this as a platform where you can store all your master password and copy paste by yourself. You uh, store your link Don't, where yeah. you want to go and just store your password and credential. So we just not give you a like a, like automated password. copying of the password we that just we don't give believe you in. 24 yeah. by 7 alerting system and also monitoring of it. Like take control of yourself. Don't give control of anybody else. Yeah. They can protect you. Okay, makes sense. Um, okay, so there is a question from somebody who is interested and so she's like uh, preparing her, her business, but uh, she said, who helped you with product development? And how did you finalize a technology partner or did both of you develop it together? So we did develop it together. So that is the first thing that the product development uh, we did ourselves. But the uh, when you need extra help, like say when you need some help with branding, some help with the marketing uh, so, side. So that we did uh, took some help uh, from the freelancers and fire, fire uh, some resources. So those resources help us uh, with some, you know, other uh, material and other uh, business uh, marketing side of it so basically i said like on when we started to develop our platform we both are working on that development of platform but the when the come to see like a marketing side so we take help from outside from a fiverr freelancer also we have some ready-made template to develop our website we constantly working. We just show people and get a review and develop our product. So we also got some digital marketing, something you can always get somebody who can, you know, do a social media marketing for you. That's and other also thing. we have some around 52 advisor from Fortune 500 company. So they guide us, okay, you need this area to focus more. This has to enhance more. So they guide us in the respective domains of their strength. We have people uh, ranging from Citibank to the commercial insurance uh, broker and other people who are our advisors and they guide us into the, the business side of the things. So that when we talk to some customers from those business, we get better perspective. Perfect. Um, your, there is a lot of uh, chat on the, on, on, on the live stream. They want to know what is your uh, website now? Is it like www.rimposecure.com perfect so it's and, uh, okay yeah you can all right so 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 because the a lot of people are interested there is rachna who says that she's in the uh, working in the identity management domain and she's keen to know how this works uh, and then there is yolanda she is talking about like a, a me membership registration for an online mini school so she's interested. She's probably going really? to get in touch with you. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. This is this is really good, uh, Sanjeev. This um, answers your question about who their customers are. Uh, yeah, go ahead. You please. can on our uh, website also. We you can book a uh, yeah. like a book a time for us. Yeah. So we can have a personalized meeting with them, and we can yeah. guide from them. Yeah, they can go to our website and schedule a time. They can choose the time slot. We can sure. talk. Or they can do it. Like, you know, we also Anything. have an email address listed there. So the website again is www.rainbowsecure.com. R A I N B O W S E C U R E secure.com. And the email address is also very easy. Just say hello at rainbowsecure.com. And mm -hmm. uh, we'll be definitely getting back to them. And, you know, we'll talk to you know their ideas, their uh, interest. And uh, yeah, we can take it forward. Sure. Sure. And uh, what are the resources uh, that you use for uh, marketing your startup? So <clears throat> I said uh, there are different ways you can market your startup because see, sometimes your target customer may not be just browsing all the time online. So there's one thing. Yeah, some people are going see, online for us. Right? Uh, right now, we can say that uh, before this COVID, 
we just uh, meet the people build our network and we market like that before that i we, we will do that after that we just go for a digital marketing so we started that and uh, now we are integrate to set up some channel partnership and uh, using that partnership we want to mm-hmm. sell our product you should also be participating in a like a, as you sort of sponsor some of the virtual events virtual conferences so that's another way to gain exposure you should go for such events and become a sponsor and you know you and should also be... i suggest all founders like if you are founders feel the pain of other founders too so work together and grow together that i am thinking like uh, i found some of people they are thinking similar like me and they help me a lot they help each other you if you have some doubt you can always have somebody you can talk to and you know you can when they have some problem you can help them so you just like you know growing up together and you know helping each other perfect perfect thank you so much uh, one thing that comes to mind when we are talking about uh, uh, your product and uh, this thing is that you have like successfully started it brought it off the ground right when is a time to like and people who have a full time job going uh, when is the time when you have like is it like time to like quit your job i think you should uh, <laughs> like you know have so, at least somebody who is working full time dedicatedly for the startup so that then only you can think of continuing your day job because you still need a day job right to have a fund so you need to fund your startup continuously so just because you should not have any financial stress in your mind is better to work 80 hours a week like you know 40 hours for so your for day job in our in our case we are not thinking like quit in a job because that's the big investment for my startup if money comes then i little bit invest somewhere so right now we are not thinking but once you go, get certain x amount of money in a return after that you can think like okay i need more focus on my startup then you can think yeah. about to quit the job you may also get some strategic investor on board early on who brings not only the money but uh, the technical value or some business development value that is something that you can think of but look at the terms and conditions because sometimes you lose so much freedom because when you are having your own startup if you have freedom you can you know diversify you can maybe change uh, some value proposition you can have so much things you can do you can flexible you can be flexible enough perfect uh, i have a lot of friends and their main concern is that uh, uh, like investors and people who are into seed round funding etc don't take them seriously because they have a full time job so uh, have you faced that uh, um, no not me because she was because always work yeah, like she left see, her work early on when before the kids uh, she was know, working after yeah. that she thought let me have my own uh, work that i do and then uh, she uh, grew up with the startup in this so see we always see, had somebody investment when you need investment that's the biggest question that i am thinking like if you have idea and you thought okay let me have some investor nobody can invest in that just idea or maybe someone investing in that but uh, on my case i have this much strong product but when i went to i went so many event to just get an investor so i don't have to work for to develop any more i just get licensing my product and sell it but um, as i uh, i feel that like uh, uh, people need some kind of idea validations after that you can get investment that would be a great otherwise um, people are saying so many mean thing to you and they discourage you it's not like if you are just quit a job they give you a money or investment they just saying like um, if they want to give you or they want to invest in your idea anyhow you are doing a job or not that doesn't matter they invest in you but if they don't want to give you money they can discourage you okay i don't want to give you money because you have a job so that's just um, no excuse but excuse you know, better to have your idea if it more better if you can even patent your idea and then you can a finished product then you can so that you can deliver it at an enterprise level so 
when you got like a middle of finished product then you can think about okay now i have investment only for this purpose not for uh, developing my product or getting some marketing help or getting some technical help because government is also giving some funding nowadays so you can try that they are also. doing uh, there are some other resources where you can perfect thanks so much um so rachna has a question you mentioned some kind of like integration uh, with the microsoft workplace mm -hmm. uh, marketplace uh, so can you elaborate on that yeah definitely so what uh, as a part of the microsoft cloud accelerator program uh, because they had gone through what uh, we provide the solution what api we provide uh, they um, finally decided it okay you are eligible to be recognized as a microsoft uh, app source application and microsoft marketplace uh, they put us so microsoft stand behind some product and they will also <clears throat> give us the opportunity of a co selling they will also um, you know co sell our product through uh, their other product other sales channels they have so that we got as a part of the accelerator program and also the uh, idea and the solutions that we had the enterprise uh, great uh, features it had and the reliability wow wow that is that is great uh, i i know that uh, nehal you are the sales like because like i had met you so so okay so i met nehal at a pwc mm -hmm. event and mm -hmm. uh, that's when you know she introduced herself yeah. and like we 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 connected instantly because uh, she gave me this uh, a card back in the day it used to be called rainbow password and when she when we were started talking about it i was like oh my god this is like my long lost twin you know <laughs> because <laughs> i had i had uh, patented an uh, uh, an idea about graphical um, passwords in 2012 and uh, this was so i was interested <laughs> and it has is obviously a much better product uh, and a much better idea but we connected instantly so how important is it for you, like go out and you know talk about your product all the time yeah, and yeah. we did that <laughs> so so neha can you talk about like the sales like because i think you probably like you know attend a lot of events and talk about it yes, yes. so so before um uh i started to sell like um in a networking i just want to build my network in there i recognize my product people are now know rainbow password is thing if i need some somewhere i my authentication when i have a problem i can use that so i want to build that network and aware of my product okay you have a problem and we have a solution just like that so don't push too hard don't try to like you know hey hey buy my buy my product no you have to just make your brand aware you should have brand awareness you should spread the word what problems you are solving that's it and then people will come to you that whenever they are building something or when they need some help in some areas so it may not be instant uh, customer gain but it will at least help you with the warm introductions Okay, that that makes sense. So basically, educate your customers, educate, right? Ed, customers, ed, yes. Educate yes. people about mm -hmm. what so you're offering. People know, like uh, they don't forget. If they have pain point uh, that they don't forget you, they keep in your mind. Because I met, uh, like I just launched this password in a tech day event. After some times, like one or two year back, I met someone and he said, "Okay, I remember you. You are the rainbow people." and i met at this event so the people <laughs> is as so, so people know us just by you know they know they have like we have been going to this events they are in the community they are in a technological field and so people now recognize us across the board and you know across the industry domain so it's the brand awareness that when you spread the word that's what helping you thank you so much um i think it's like over the time we had agreed on but uh, thank you so much for joining us today on cyber security career talks you have provided great guidance to people who have a product in mind who are working on a side project and and they want to bring it to life how to get the funding where to reach out for partners how to market your product how to educate your customers thank you so much this is really invaluable and uh, next week we will be talking about how to become a one sec let me share this so next week we are going to talk about uh, uh, how to become an iam architect so i think this works 
really well. We spoke about this one of the product and now we are going to talk about identity and access management and uh, from an architectural point of view. Thanks everyone and we will yeah, Thank you next. everybody. It thank was you. really nice to, to, you know, I know we wanted to always help others. So it's a great- Reach out us if you need anything. Perfect. And uh, you shared your uh, uh, email address and then people can book a time and uh, discuss their needs with you on your uh, uh, website, which is rainbowsecure.com. And you yes. can please connect with them on LinkedIn um, because you never know when you might need them. So at least just send them a LinkedIn request and connect with them and uh, like their uh, LinkedIn page. Thanks so much. Thank you, everybody. Okay, so...